And this is your election command center. With the 2024 elections just weeks away, there is a lot of anticipation. Latest Global Info Analytics poll suggests 28% of voters approve President Tekufado's performance, while a resounding 65% express disapproval. We bring you a news desk report. The disconsent, according to the Global Info Analytics, is widespread touching nearly every region of the country except the Ashanti region, where a majority still stand behind the president. But outside of his stronghold, in a crucial string region like the Central Region, Western and Greater Accra region, disapproval is high. Here in Accra, an overwhelming 7 out of 10 citizens express frustration with the current leadership. What might this mean for the election itself? If today were election day, the data points in one clear direction, a lead for John Dramani Mahama, the former president and candidate of the National Democratic Congress. Well, according to the poll, Mahama holds 52% of projected votes, outpacing his main rival, Dr. Mahamud Baumia of the New Patriotic Party, who stands at 41.3%. Mahama's lead is strengthened by a wave of support from young and first-time voters who favor him by a sweeping margin. In fact, Mahama's influence is felt in 13 out of the Ghana's 16 regions, leaving Baumia leading in only three. It's a crucial divide, one that reflects Ghana's large concerns. The economy is weighing heavily on the minds of Ghanaians, with three quarters of voters list it as a top priority, with jobs close behind. Right, so let's look at some of the specific numbers that have just been put out by Global Info Analytics. And I would want to give a, at least some background to the total number of people that were surveyed. Over 2,500 people across the country were surveyed by Global Info Analytics. And these are some of the key findings from their polls. And it was between the month of October and early November. So it's just about a, a period of a week. That's when they sample these people via phone call. So they randomly called people and asked them a set of questions. And based on the answers that they aggregated, they're able to extrapolate these numbers. And I'll take you through them quickly. So for instance, out of the 2,500 and over people that were surveyed, 52% of them say that they will vote for John Dramani Mahama, 41.3% say they will vote for uh, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We have um, Alan Kujo Tremantin coming third. Coincidentally, it looks as though he and um, Cheda or Nana Kwame Bediaku have been swapping the third position. Clearly, the third force isn't doing as much as we expect in terms of numbers, but this is what the polls say. And all the other candidates, so far we have about uh, 12 people on the on the ballot paper, that is if Equia Donkos Party, the Ghana Freedom Party also file, they will be all captured amongst these 0.4% people, uh, parties that are also going to be contesting. But the key interest is between the NDC and the NPP. 52% say they are going to vote for the NDC. And a number of polls your election command center followed in the last few days indicate that it is likely that the 2024 election will be a one-touch victory for whoever wins. According to this poll, though, that victory is going to the NDC. Also, it goes on to do the gender divide. And clearly, for the male-female proportion, 52% of men who were surveyed say they will vote for John Dramani Mahama, 51% of... Uh, 51% are women, and the women say they'll vote for JDM. Also, for the Dr. Baumia numbers, 41% say they will vote for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. 42% say they'll vote for him. Now, 42% because it looks as though for Dr. Baumia, we have more women agreeing to vote for the NPP candidate than men. It could also come or be because of the political promises they have made. If you follow closely, the NDC is talking about a women's bank. The NPP is you know, making similar promises along those lines. So it is of concern or of interest how we have more men agreeing or deciding to vote for JDM, but we have more women, just about um, 
plus one deciding to vote for Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya. 2% male, 2% female for Alan Chemarting. 4% say they'll vote for Nana Kwame Bediakon. An equal number of females say they'll vote for Nana Kwame Bediakon. So the gender divide is also very clear. Now, another interesting component of the people who were surveyed are education or people who have some level of education. And an interesting breakdown of it shows that people who have at least junior high school certification say that, I mean, 49% of them say they'll vote for John Dramani Mahama and 43% say they'll vote for uh, Alan Kojo, I beg your pardon, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. People who have at least senior high school certification, we have a sizable chunk of 53% saying they'll vote for um, the NDC candidate, John Mahama. 42% saying they'll vote for um, uh, Dr. Mahmoud Bamia. Now, this particular demographic is interesting because you know that the NPP right now have intensified their campaign when it comes to education and have in previous years been focusing on the free senior high school and its benefits to people and why they need to vote for them. But if you look at these numbers and if it's anything to go by, you can tell that although it is this current government that instituted the free senior high school policy, a number of them still think that they are likely to vote for uh, the NDC candidate. People with a minimum of tertiary education, 57%, and that's quite a huge number, 57% say they'll vote for NDC, 33 say they'll vote for MPP, and people with no formal education, no formal education, 47% say they'll vote for um, NDC, 46% say they'll vote for NPP, and that is actually very slim when you're looking at people with, um, you, with no formal education. So we'll be doing a lot more of these kinds of polls and analysis so you can also be part of the bigger conversation on your election command center.